Hey guys, Momo Karimu here. Um, what this video is going to be about, this is um, the rest of my kawaii stuff that really doesn't have a place to go. Um, you know, it's just a whole bunch of like Japanese kawaii type things, or rather Asian kawaii things. Um, I have a lot of other cute like um, stuffed animals and kawaii stuff, but those are going to be in a separate video because this is more like um, kawaii things like Sanex, etc., stuff like that. So, um, okay, uh, first off, well, I'll start with this. This is a um, plush of Rue from Rue and Sue. She is about a foot tall. She's really cute. Um, they weren't really that popular of uh, CNX characters, but um, I thought they were adorable. So I ended up getting a big plush of Rue, and you can actually take her little cap off. And then um, this is <laughs> a Hello Kitty snow. Uh, Snow Kitty. I really like this. It's got a flat bottom so she sits up nice. Um, I got her probably when I was like 10 years old. I mean, I've just kept her ever since and, you know, like anything shaped like a snowman with a cute little ball bottom like that is adorable. And then, um, this is a really special Hello Kitty. This is like, if you, you can't really tell, but, um, she's a cream and white, like, special edition Hello Kitty. And I really, really like her. I mean, I will never get rid of her. My grandma got her for me, and um, she's just really cute and super soft and cuddly. I love her. Um, here is a teeny little plush of Karomi. Like, she's definitely one of my favorite um, Sanrio characters. And my boyfriend got me this for just a present. Um, I really love him for it. <laughs> she's so cute. And then um, this is a hairy haggis and these are basically where I come from which is Scotland and Ireland um, these are little creatures that we know as they come out well I'll read you the information tag okay <laughs> wild hairy haggis this wee haggis belongs to if he gets lost please send him home hairy haggis um, it says wild hairy haggis love music their favorite is Scotland the brave Keep your wild hairy haggis out of direct sunlight, and they're not used to it in their natural environment. And take extra care of their wild hairy haggis on the 25th of January, which is Burns Night for us. Legend says that if your haggis goes missing on that night, you may never see him again. Haggis are very sociable creatures and prefer living in company, a rare thing to the remote highland homelands. To make sure he is really happy, buy him a companion. Another wild hairy haggis. <laughs> they're, they're trying to get you to buy two. But um, these little creatures, they've just kind of been in a you know, like Celtic legends, and, um, he was really cute, I'm surprised I found him, actually, I was in Gallenberg, Tennessee, and I found a, uh, Celtic store down there, and they had a bunch of hairy haggies, and I was like, oh, you're coming home with me, <laughs> they're so cute, and then, um, another one of my favorite things is my, um, panda pet, and it's, um, basically little animals that look like pieces of food, or bread, basically, and I got him off Strappy World, which is a great, like web store I love them and um, you can basically open them up and store stuff in him um, he's pretty tiny though so you you could probably only use him for like lunch money a change you know that type of stuff but he's still worth it and just super kawaii um, this I just have a little Asian cat I got it at an Asian store at the mall and um, I thought he was really cute um, I've always loved Maneki Nikos and you know he's really cute got a little bell Here's a little plush keychain of Rue. Um, got these from uh, Shop Kawaii as well. Here's um, Rilek Akuma, which I don't actually really like as much as everybody else. I don't, to me, he's like not that cute, but um, I got um, a little sheep coat because that's my zo um, Chinese zodiac is a goat or sheep, so um, I went ahead and got him. Um, here is a Rue and Sue camera case. Um, it's kind of old, a little dingy, but, you know, good for cameras, whatever you want to put in it. I think it's cute with a little lace. Um, this is my little CJ7 keychain. If you guys have not seen the movie CJ7, you totally need to watch it. It was directed by Stephen Chow, and there actually is an English version. Um, it's about this cute little, he's a little alien dog and he can heal things and he's so cute. I actually have a big plush of him too but that'll be in a separate video. Um, here I have a little mochi bunny. Um, actually Lith Fighter 
made this for me from Etsy. Um, her name's Nissa Benton, and she makes mochi bunny plushies, and so I got this off of her. It's a little strawberry mochi bunny, and really good made. You know, for being a handmade item, he's really good. And then, um, one of my favorites ever, ever, is my Nyanko. My Nyan Nyan Nyanko. He is, um, it looks like a strawberry shortcake, something like that. He is just my absolute favorite. I love him so much. It's really old, and he's like in perfect condition. And I ended up getting him a few years back off of uh, somebody on e Crater had him for sale, and I was like super cheap. And I was like, whoa, I, I have to have that. Because he's really hard to find. And then um, I have an axolotl keychain. If you guys don't know what an axolotl is, please Google it. They are um, also known as mud puppies. They're the cutest like amphibian type creatures you could ever own or get they are so cute this is a white one and they come in like white brown pink like in uh real life actually um if you want one of these head over to strap your world they're the only place that will sell anything really axolotl related and um they have pink ones and white ones i totally got the white one i love axolotls i plan on getting one soon i'll show you guys if i do um this I also got from Strappy World. This is a, uh, it's called Happy Meal Keychains, and, um, this is a little white tiger, and he's eating a, looks like a piece of meat or something like that. Also, I have another one, um, like him, which is the bunny right here, and he's eating a carrot. <laughs> and these are really cheap, too. Um... Now, this I really, really love. This is a little rabbit made out of Angora. And, um, her name is Momo Chan. Um, this I also got off Strappy World. I get, like, everything from there, but, um, it's so cute and soft. I won't even use it because it's just, like, so delicate and I don't want to ruin it. It's, like, got a perfect shape. I mean, it's just adorable. Look at the face. <laughs> then I have a Charmy Kitty plush. Um, I got this a long time ago. Maybe when I was, like, 16 or so. Um, I really like the bow. She's really, you know... Really cute, kind of tiny, but I've always liked, I always thought Charmy Kitty was actually cuter than Hello Kitty herself, so. And then I have a Hello Kitty pen shaped like a baby bottle. It's really cute. It's actually refillable. You would just have to cut the ink, um, stick in half, but I really like this. And it writes really well. Um, here I have a Hello Kitty lock and key set. It, um, actually works. I just haven't found anything to use it on, really. But, um, you know, it was still cute. So I was like, okay, I'm going to go ahead and buy it. <laughs> and I also have this, um, if you guys remember Wanroom, uh, Sanex character. I got this a long time ago off of uh, Shop Kawaii. It's a cell phone holder. And he's a little toaster, which I love. He's got a little dog toaster and this little piece of bear toast <laughs> he's so cute and it's um he's a screen cleaner so you put your cell phone like here and then you can take him out and clean your cell phone screen but i really love this um i have a ton a ton of like just keychains and stuff i have this really cute um bastardino um tokidoki keychain it's got the symbol and then it's got him he's a cactus pup um I have this little Remit Hello Kitty roll cake, and luckily when I bought this, you know, they're blind boxes, and I wanted the roll cake one, really wanted the roll cake one, and I ended up getting it. I was like, wow, that's awesome, and um, I really love this. I will never get rid of it. Um, everyone knows what uh, Mama Sheba is. I mean, if you don't know what Mama Sheba is, then, well, I'm sorry, <laughs> but uh, Mama Sheba is a little um, pea dog. Well, they're technically, they're bean dogs. They can be, like, any type of bean. But this is, like, you squeeze the middle, and it pops out. That was the back of them. And these, um, there was, like, ten different faces you could get. And I ended up getting the little swirly hat crazy one. <laughs> it's so cute. It's just really fun to squish. And then, um, I have a little Netsuki Bunny Bell keychain. Um... I don't advise using these, though, because, like, they're so loud and obnoxious, but he was, like, a really cute rabbit, and I love rabbits, so I had to get it. Um, here I have a little Alice Remit cookie mirror. Um, I really like this. I love Alice in Wonderland, and, uh, you know, it was just something to get, and it was cute. 
here's my other Tokidoki, one of my other keychains. Um, this is soya milk. He's like a, they're like cows but milk, and I ended up getting soy milk. So he's a green little cow with a cute face, and it's got a picture of Bastardino on the back. Like, have you seen me? <laughs> and then, um, I had to show you guys this. I love cinnamon rolls. Cinnamon rolls is one of my favorite foods, and this is an awesome cinnamon roll keychain. It's like a lip balm. It's from Cinnabon. I absolutely love Cinnabon cinnamon rolls. They're so awesome, and this keychain is really cute. Um, one of my favorite things that you can get from Japan is uh, Fukuya bunnies, and um, their whole name is like Usadango Fukuya, but uh, here's one. They're really cute little rabbits. They're, they're like mochi bunnies, and um, you can always tell all the Fukuya bunnies always have like a little Sakura leaf printed on the back of them. Um, and here's like, you can kind of see it, but yeah, these are really cute. I ended up um, being able to snag one of these from Kawaii Pile. They are so hard to find. It's ridiculous. You can't even find them on eBay or anything. And then, um, I don't know if you guys ever used to play, but I used to be obsessed with Gaia online, and, like, I totally loved Gaia. I played it for years until it just kind of went downhill and everybody quit playing, but, um, I have the little black cat keychain, too, but this is the plush, and he's really cute. He looks just like the Coco Kitty from Gaia, and, um, he also has a little s slit in his belly, so you can actually put him on a headband or something so you can wear them on your head like your avatars could and stuff like that. Um, he's super soft. I mean, it's like, I don't know if it's minky or what, but it's like really soft. And I always loved the Coco Kitty. They're just so cute. And then, um, this is a keychain of Juju Chan. Um, Juju Chan is a little mochi and, um, here's a picture of her. But, um, I just thought she was adorable. I just got this for random purposes. Plus it's a screen cleaner. But I just thought she was cute. I think she's a peach bun emoji. Um, this is like a little Minnie Mouse remit keychain. Didn't really need to show it because I have so many of like these types of keychains. Like, I could probably make my own video on just all the keychains I have. But, um, you know, like, I thought it would be kind of pointless to put up my Awonko erasers and stuff like that. Everybody has those. Um, so there's that. Then, believe it or not, I got this cute little thing from McDonald's. It's like, it's Hello Kitty. And, well, she fell off. <laughs> but, like, these little things right here are bangles. And, um, I just thought it was really cute. And I figured I would keep it. It's just... And then, um, this is one of the Awonko erasers I got that I am going to show you. Because it's just cool looking. I've never really seen one like this. It's supposed to be like a, um, you know, like those charm good luck bags that, you, bags that you get at shrines or whatever. I just thought it was pretty cool. I've never really seen um, an Awonko eraser like that. And then um, I of course have my Neon Neonko pin. I love him so much. And then I have a, a Sugar Bunny plush. Um, she's so adorable. She has she actually smells like roses. My boyfriend got me um, this for I don't know. It was a holiday way back when but um, she was totally adorable. We picked her up at Walmart, and, like, I can't even believe that Walmart sold Sugar Bunny anything. And, you know, I really like her, and I, she's just really cute. I love her crown. And then, um, I also have just a keychain of Sue. This is the other bunny from Rue and Sue. You know, she's, you know, okay. And then, um, this isn't really from Japan. This is from America, and, um... It was called My Mebas, and it was like a little virtual pet that was in a tube, and you, um, once you got him to maximum care, the top of the tube would, like, open up, and you could take out your Meba, your fully grown Meba, and this was mine. <laughs> I don't have the tube anymore, but, um, yeah, um, I was really surprised when I pulled him out. I was like, wow, out of all the ones I could have got, I actually got a really super cute one, and he's got a little thing up there so you can attach him, but, um, that's all that's for this video, um. I'll get back to you guys with some more stuff. Alright, thanks.